Hi, I'm Streaky. Today I'm reviewing the new speakers from Adam Audio. They are called the T8V. And if you hang around to the end, I'll tell you how you can get this pair for free because they've said I can give them away. So these new Adam T8Vs, now you, these are the cheaper end of the Adam family. They have the T5V, the T7V, which I gave away previously, and the T8V now, the new one. So I bet you can't guess why they're called the T8V. Yes, that indeed, it is because the uh, woofer here is eight inches wide and the other ones are five inches wide and seven inches wide. So it didn't take them long to work out what to call it. And I don't know what the T stands for, but I know the V stands for vertical. So they need to be kept vertical rather than horizontal. Christ, I need to rip my throat out. They're pretty heavy, right? They're not lightweight, cheap boxes. These are pretty solid. They've got nice, uh, they're finished off really well. I like the look of them. I think because they're so basic looking, it's really modern. I like this design. I think it looks pretty cool. Now, I like their tweeters. They look good. I like ribbon tweeters. I like how they sound. Very open, very clear, so, you know, low distortion, really good on the ear. So you listen to them for a long period of time. These go fairly low. They say that they go to 33 hertz. Now, I believe they go to 33 hertz, but um, I've, um, I actually always think with two-way speakers like this, that having a sub, and they do a 10 inch sub, I believe, Adam, uh, it just means that this speaker doesn't have to work as hard. So if you've got, say, a crossover point for your sub at 80 hertz, then this is nothing, well, a little bit under 80 hertz will still be pushing this, but not a lot. So it's not doing any subs and things like that. It's doing more of the sort of low mids and, and stuff. So that's works the speaker much better and you get a cleaner sound and it fires better. So um, I would always suggest if you've got a two-way trying out a sub because uh, it does, I think it makes them work better and you get a better sound. These have a port on the rear. Now, some people don't like this port. Adam say it's fine to have this on the back if it's against a wall, as long as you're a few, you know, I don't know, six inches away from the the wall at the back, then there's enough space for that to breathe and do what it needs to do. So that's really a, a choice of yours, really. Their higher range speakers actually have the ports on the front. I guess that's just a design feature. These have XLR. I keep hitting myself in the face in these corners. XLR and a phono on the back. And then there's a volume knob because they are active. And that obviously is just for the level, but they also have, uh, which is handy, some little low frequency plus two, minus two, zero, and the same with high frequency plus two, minus two, zero on the high frequencies as well. So a uh, little bit of tweakage there on the back in case you need it. Yeah, they are pretty solid and I can't believe how cheap these are because these are a big old speaker. So what you're asking me really is how do they sound? Right, okay, so they do go low. They go lower than their other ones. I believe that. I can hear some low end going on. I can hear that. It's tight, it's pretty fast. But I, as I say, I would rather have a sub doing that because I think it would get even tighter and a better sound. I really like this tweeter, super open, really clear. Tweeters are a real sort of uh, point with speakers, whether you like them or not. I know Focal, some people like the Brilliant tweeter, some people hate it. I think it's the same with these ribbon tweeters, you either like or hate them. I, prefer, I actually really like them and I also like the Brilliant ones too. So I think they're really good, really open. So I'm really surprised how good these are for the money. They're about 259 each, so we're talking about five, 500 pounds a pair, something like that. So for the 500 pound bracket, this is a great buy. So um, definitely worth looking at. I think they're pre-ordering now. You can get them towards the end of May. But as I said at the start, I have this pair, which Adam have kindly said I can give away for free. So if you want the chance of winning these T8Vs, the new speakers from Adam, then what you've got to do is subscribe to my channel on YouTube, go to my website, anorax.co, make sure you sign up there, come back to YouTube, put I am an anorak in the comments, and I'll pick someone at random and then send them these in the post. 
So uh, good luck with that. The winners will be announced inside of anoraks.co. In there as well, whilst you're there, I'm actually now done a deal with ISO Acoustic where to match these, you could get yourself some pucks for 20% off. So go in the members area of Anorax where there is all that kind of stuff going on, discounts and giveaways and all sorts of things. So I think it's, you'll like it. And uh, you can also get my smiley plug in there for free at the same time. There you go, bit of a plug. So that's it. That is the Adam T8V. Definitely worth a look if we're in the market for an eight inch speaker that's around the 500 pound mark for a pair. Definitely worth a listen. So don't forget, go to anorax.co, sign up there, come back, subscribe to my YouTube channel and put in the comments, I am an anorak, and then you've got a chance of getting your hands on these T8Vs. Thanks for watching. See you again. Bye.